You're listening to Radio Mayapur with the best devotional, meditation, kirtan music, and inspirational podcast. This is Radio Mayapur. Hare Krishna, everybody. This is Gangadas from Radio Mayapur. Link to your heart. Today we are in Sofia. In Bulgaria, it's a very beautiful day, sunny days. Today we went to the uh, we went to the gym and then we went to the a kind of aqua, what is called? Anyway, it's a place where there's a swimming pool and there's an ocean in front. It's a beautiful. It's a summertime, and so that today we are very fortunate to have with us Gopi Gita Amrita Mataji. <laughs> Welcome. She's born in Sofia, in Bulgaria, in 1999. She studied in a music academy, and she's a conductor of music and a percussionist. And she's born uh, in a devotee family, mm-hmm. which is very auspicious. And uh, now she is married with uh, what's your name? Jayagupal. Jaya Jaya Jayagupal, Jaya Gupal, who is a very nice devotee. And uh, I believe when she she was born in the Vodi family is very very uh, auspicious and very nice, you know I should say. But at one point in her life, she decided to take seriously this path of devotion uh, in association with the music as well, because Krishna consciousness means always uh, playing music and bhajan and kirtan, and so she's actively involved in the. And, uh, in music, and she gave me a few, rec- few CD last few years ago. And she, we are always playing in Radio Mayapur, her music was very, very much appreciated by devotees all over the world. So welcome, Gopi Gita Amrita. Thank, thank you for my, thank you so much for, for being, uh, interviewed today in this podcast. And tell us a little bit, five minutes about your family from when you're born. What was your mm-hmm. impression being born in? Devotee's family in Bulgaria. It was pretty nice, actually, because you are born in a devotee family. You don't know what is life with others. And I was studying in just a normal school the okay. first two years. Okay. And I was telling my friends, "Oh, we have an altar. We have deities there." And by their look at me at that point, I realized, okay, they don't understand. I. I don't think they have altar at home. <laughs> you think so, everybody had an altar and yeah. everybody was a devotee, yeah. a natural. Yeah. But at that point, I realized, okay, just be careful with that information in future. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really nice. We were going to Kirtans. We were observing fasts. My mother mm-hmm. was uh, strict with the fast. So <laughs> from when I was four years old, I think we were... Fasting on every Akadashi, it was like nir- Nirjava. It was no, no food, no, no water, water, no food. And I remember when I was uh, asleep, I was waking up so many times and asking my mother, is it time to, <laughs> to break the Akadashi? Yeah. And she was like, no, just go to sleep <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> and yeah, it was interesting. I don't know. But you had the good remembrance of meeting devotees and being in temples, see the deity and kirtan and kushan. And what was something attractive for you at that time when you were a child? Hmm. I don't remember much. I don't know why, but I don't know. It was pretty, everything was pretty interesting for me. I, my mother says that I really liked kirtans and I was jumping (laughs) all the time. Nice. Yeah. So, and then, uh, okay, uh, when you were 15, you say you decided to take seriously this path of devotional service or considering doing something for pleasing Krishna. Tell us mm-hmm. about that. <laughs> Actually, it was not my decision. <laughs> it was, again, my parents' decision okay. because I was a teenager, you know, yeah. just studying in a normal school, uh, associating with my friends. And at one point, my parents told me, you know, there is one group and they really love to have you there to sing because they're searching for a professional musician and you're one and you're a girl because they need a girl singer. And I was singing also in a choir. So I was a singer also and percussionist. And uh, I said, probably no. 
<laughs> I don't think I want to be in this group actually. But they said, okay, just try. If you don't like it, you can yeah, leave every yes, time. Yeah. <laughs> and okay, I tried a few more, more concerts, but I actually didn't like it. It was really meditative. And uh, as a young person, I was yeah. passion like yeah. passionate. And I really wanted something more rhythmic active. or active yeah dance then with a lot of moves but this was just so boring <laughs> <laughs> so boring and i said to they my they were mother, doing bhajan and they were doing Hare krishna Mahamata, with harmonium with harmonium everything with mridanga but it was so slow everything was like you know <laughs> just for the yogis for that uh, kind of people <laughs> and i'm not <laughs> like not that. for me yeah it's not for me and, and then uh, then I said to my mother after a few concerts, I cannot do this anymore. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to be in this group anymore. And uh, she said, okay, try one more time, just one more concert. And that was uh, when they gave me an opportunity to compose some kirtan. And okay. I really started creating more music. I really love to create. And when I was little, I was composing a lot of words for marimba, for flute, for piano, and trying to connect them with Krishna, like one piece I call theater, or, you know, from the elements, five elements. And, um, yeah, but I wasn't so involved with devotees. Mm -hmm. And that was the point when I connected that talent with... Uh, something devotional and when i started creating music that's when i really felt okay that's my this thing. Is your thing yeah and it started growing growing i started to relax and to compose more and more things and they were more passion like <laughs> <laughs> they were more active a nice. lot of harmony a lot of voices i really used all of my talent that what i learned from the studying in the music school nice. i involved it in but you wrote music. the music itself and the songs are just the same mantra but you wrote the music for yeah. the different instrument oh yeah and were the devotee able to follow that music because i don't know if the devotee can read music i don't know how to read music for example i play harmonium that was Kartan uh, Mirdanga, but I, if you give me a piece yeah. of paper, I don't know how to read the music. <laughs> no, I actually... It was a struggle, it was difficult for the body to learn it. Yeah, and... for me also, because I came from a background that yeah. I write music, that yeah. I see music and I work with professional musicians yeah. that they're really, Absolutely. at the time, just they don't, they, they know what they're doing and when they hear something, they... They follow. They're, yes. And, but uh, so you had to train the body as well? Yeah. You had to there train them and a, say you had to do it like this, you had to do it yeah. like that, not I was too fast, like not a, too slow. <laughs> like a teacher, singing teacher, music teacher. Yeah. You know, it, it was pretty nice. Okay. And we were really combining. But you uh, find some group of the body who are willing to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Young the body? No. Oh, the body. Oh, yeah. Oh. They were... It's difficult to teach old dog <laughs> new trick, right? They yeah. said, I was saying, yeah. but you were able to. And they were by willing to. Huh? Yeah, by their mercy. I, by their mercy. Yeah. 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 They were listening to me. <laughs> I don't know, 16 years old to tell you how to sing and how to play music. It's pretty, <laughs> when I see it from my 25-year-old self, I was really... Brave. Yeah. I won't do this again. Yeah, like, no, of course. It's, it's a challenge and yeah, it's but, difficult. Yeah, but I didn't write music. Okay. Um, we were just repeating like okay, by yeah, ear. By and ear. devotees, I, I know now by experience that devotees have really good ear. Yeah, of course. They hear so many times uh, melodies and everything and they memorize. And their That's ears good. are really professional ears. That's so fantastic. when they hear something, they can... They can uh, do it. Yeah, they can do it. They That's can nice, do. you know, it's nice. Yeah. I think it's Krishna's blessing that the body can learn so fast because it's connected with the sound of spirituality. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. So, but I remember we did one interview in the, we did a program with the TV of Bulgaria, you remember? Mm -hmm. You yes. were there, they interview us and uh, you were playing also music. And I know you are a famous artist in Bulgaria, people know you. And uh, 
Yeah, in the yeah, music in sphere. The music. Yeah, in the music sphere. The professional sphere. music. Professional music. Yeah. But you have also some project apart from the ocean, like in the music world, like you performing with other musician artists. Mm -hmm. You yeah, do. Yeah, I'm a classical musician. Okay. So uh, I'm not like in the rock and all this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but yeah. Well, let's say in the in the classical music, music, what type of classic music yeah. you play? Like uh, this, you all the or Bedouin, I don't yeah, know actually, what. Actually, yes. I, you do play? Yeah, yes. this, that's my work. Uh, okay. I work in an orchestra okay. in the National Music Academy, the only orchestra that's teaching young conductors, actually. So, but the orchestra is professional. Of so course. they're professional musicians. And uh, I play the timpani there because oh, I'm percussionist really? and timpani are, yeah, no, 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 timpanis are timpani. at the back yeah, of the whole like, orchestra. Yeah. So if you see someone at the back of the orchestra with uh, the very, big, very big drums, drums, that's the timpani. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> and that's my, my role. It's there. like the bass is giving the bass oh, yeah. in the back, you know. And yeah. Yeah, I love it. Whenever. And how many people play in this um, concert music? I mean, how many pieces you have? Violin and piano and this? All of them, all, all, all of the orchestra is like 30 people. It's a small one. Okay. And usually the orchestra is like 50 or 60. Yeah, and I the big that. one is 100. I know, I know. Yeah, but this one is small. Okay. And, uh, and what type of, you say you play what? We play like. Beethoven, Vivaldi, Mozart, okay, okay. Uh, Schubert, Schumann, a lot of classical nice, pieces, nice. Romantic era, classical era, Baroque, not so much, but uh, Haydn, Mozart, Beethoven, yes, everything. Beautiful. Yeah, I think it's very rewarding music to listen because inspiring people to be in the mood of goodness, I think, mm -hmm. because this can enrich your soul by listening to these people who are connected in some hour or another to God because you cannot think Mozart or Vivaldi well, could create this by their own. Yeah. This was inspiring the heart to the interesting thing is that they knew it. They when knew they it. were they composing yeah. they were uh, thinking of God and usually Bach. Bach uh, is a Baroque composer and he was really uh, religious. He was like everything he wrote he says that he writes it for God. And even Haydn, even Mozart, yeah. they were all God people. Like yeah. they were thinking, they were really. Sometimes I think like they were channeling this energy of mm. God through this music, which enriched people's life. If you think at that time, also they were living a particular moment in their life, which you know they really gifted the world with this some divine sound. Yeah, 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 it's, it's pretty beautiful. interesting. Like Beethoven, a little bit of music history, but it's pretty interesting because Beethoven was deaf. Yeah. Like when he was, I don't know, but 18, 12, he became almost deaf. Yeah, and yeah. he was uh, writing some, uh, some things. And he says that, oh, I hear so many things I want to tell the world. So I won't stop. He wanted to end his life. But he didn't do this because he wanted to give something to the world. And completely deaf, he composed so many great things. And that's, people are just amazing at that time. And they were really God conscious. Amazing. Beautiful. Okay, what's your next project? Tell us. <laughs> mm. I just graduated. Okay. Uh, so I was a little bit more in the how to say, in the material field with uh, uh, conducting and percussion, but I want to give more credit to the group, Kirtan Group, Kirtan Rasa, our group, mm -hmm. and uh, I want to... How many people play in this group? It depends. It's actually Sometimes. a project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There, we were three main people there, mm -hmm. but uh, we changed because they travel, mm -hmm. so we are like, uh, <laughs> you know... Yeah, people changing. Move around. Yeah, it's like a project, but uh, yeah. So when can we expect some new music from your project? I think this year okay. we will release some new new songs nice. because two years we didn't do anything. There okay. were some problems also with the sound recorder and uh, the studio. You have a studio. We know, but we go to okay. a place where we you rent a place. Yeah, for music. yeah. 
But, uh, but nowadays with new technology, I think, you know, you're, you should be able to record anywhere. I have to try at home. You have? <laughs> you try? I tried at some point, but it's a little bit hard. And I feel more uh, inspired when I go to a studio. Of course, of course. Someone, professional, yeah, the professional. whole environment. I can believe that, yeah. yeah and but still, you know, I know many musicians who can nowadays, uh, of course, this is all music with computers, so <laughs> I don't know much, but uh, they look like they're recording in their home as well mm. because there is a lot of professional new technology available, but whether it's your home or somewhere, you can uh, nowadays, you know, with a computer record everything, yeah, with definitely. good microphone, there are good sounds available, and if you have a good technician, music technician, you can... Anyhow, so we will be happy in Radio Mayapur to receive your music and uh, play it for the pleasure of all the devotees. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this will take uh, around six months, one year, you say, yeah. to this music. To yeah, the... maybe nice. three months, okay. probably two. Okay. I don't know. We will see. <laughs> yeah, to see how people are available and yeah. uh, whether yes. they are able to put them all together. Yeah, we will try our best for maybe for Ratayatra. Mm. The Ratayatra in Sofia is 21st Big. September. September, yeah. So we will try for September. That's nice. So more people will know about the new album. And That's it nice. will be a new sound actually because it, it will be a mix of a new, hmm. Like modern rhythm, like yeah. electronic with mantra. Sure. We, we, yeah, to experiment and see how yeah, it Yeah, we will experiment. But sometimes, uh, I know one uh, famous musician, devotee, Abidas, mm -hmm. you know, who experience is from Venezuela and he, he experimented with the uh, old orchestra and play, you know, you know, he plays some nice songs. Of course, he said it was a preaching project because you have to teach everybody how to sing the mantra, finishing mm -hmm. a day, and by give prasad to everybody. And it also was expensive to hire the whole yes. 40, 50 people mm -hmm. orchestra into the studio for one month. So it cost a lot of money, but the result is fantastic. You know, it's beautiful. So we want to encourage you to try whatever inspire you to make a nice presentation for offering to the Lord and yeah. then because this is a nice uh, offering you can do oh, being yeah. a musician. It's really rich. You can experiment with a lot of things. There is yeah. so much with Kirtan you can do. Yeah. Different styles, different things. And it's just a different world by itself. The whole world is waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> So, Gopi, tell us uh, one of the most uh, catching slogans for you from the scriptures. It can be any scriptures, so, for example, that's something which you keep in your heart or you memorize or you like to remember in your time when you're happy or when you're sad or when you're challenged by something. I don't know if there is anything like that. You know, when people ask you, sing certain something or play something or just do something and you forget everything. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I think that's the, the last verse from Bhagavad Gita, when um, it says, whenever there there is Arjuna and, and Krishna, Krishna, they will be always... Yeah, this keeps me when, I ha when I'm low and when I have a lot of trouble because, you know, in the material world, we have a lot of troubles. Sure. So Everybody has, not yeah. only you. <laughs> oh, sure. Everybody yeah, experienced sure. that. Yeah. But yeah, Krishna says there would be victory, mm. fame, beauty, knowledge, everything. Yeah. So that's a beautiful slogan. Yeah. Is there any message that you'd like to give to the people who are listening to today's podcast, Radio Mayapur? Uh, give a message, whatever, however simple or... Well, what, what uh, let's say there are people who are also musicians mm -hmm. or uh, they're trying to become a musician, they're just doing bhajan and, and give them some tip how to maybe improve or to, you know, mm. wherever you like to give a message to the people listening to us there. Just be yourself and uh, just the mood is most important. Because I know a lot of devotees, and when I hear their mood, may maybe they're off, off of tune or something they don't play, but the mood with their mm. playing, it's amazing. And you can feel it, just the atmosphere sure. changes. So sure. 
keep the mood, not the perfection yeah. of playing or singing. Yeah, yeah. The mood is important. Okay, that's very nice. So I'd like to thank you very much for thank today's you. podcast. I hope to see you in Mayapur with your husband <laughs> sometime. Come and visit us thank and you. spend some time with us. Recharge your battery, come back, <laughs> keep on doing music. That's the best you can do. And uh, I wish you all success and uh, the beautiful music you produce. Keep on sending it to us. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you, Gopi Mataji. Thank you. Thank you. You're listening to Radio Mayapur with the best devotional, meditation, kirtan music, and inspirational podcast. This is Radio Mayapur.